Just as you can base paragraph styles on one another and reuse attributes, you can base object styles on one another as well. Here is a chapter in a book I'm working on. Throughout this book, there are four different types of sidebar features. We have the Aspirin Free Workflow, which has some special features to it, including an image beside the title, a subtitle, and a different color. Then we have a general box for related resources and separate sidebar stories and things that basically don't fall into the other three categories. Then you have a note box. Notes are things that are a little more important, things that the reader should be well aware of. This is a technical book, how to use InDesign for digital publishing, as a matter of fact. So the note is things that you need to be aware of as you're working through the rest of it. For example, note when you do this, this might happen. Then a tip is additional nice to have information, information that might make things a little easier, a little bit better, or might be related to the main story that you're reading. Each of these is based on the general box. If I open up the general box's object style, you can see its attributes. It's got a fill, it's got a stroke, it's got corner options, text frame, general options, and baseline, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including auto sizing. If I open up note, you can see it's based on box general. So are tip and aspirin free sidebars. They only override certain things. In this case, the fill color. The note box is the key color at a 20% tint. Everything else is the same. Tip the same way. Its only override is the fill. So if I edit general here, and I change its corner options, from the bottom ones only rounded to inverse rounded, as long as I have preview on in the bottom left corner, you can see that that change affects all of the boxes. So in this way, instead of editing four separate styles, I edit one style and the changes apply throughout the document, throughout the book, as a matter of fact. So all of these different sidebar boxes have matching styles. And I can change other things, such as the top right corner, and make them truly hideous. Now, the same thing happens for strokes. If I decide, well, these really do need strokes around them, I can choose to put a stroke on there. And because I'm doing it on the source, the parent style, all of the children's styles that are based upon it automatically update to match. I can even change all of the anchored object options if I want, or the transparency. Maybe I want to give them all a drop shadow, which I probably shouldn't because drop shadows are overused. But hey, let's say I want to do that. By using based on with object styles, you can really streamline any changes and keep related items related and matching.